Hi, so today we're going to be looking at a review of chapter 8. Okay, so your assignment today is going to have many different types of geometry problems. And so there are a few steps that you can use that will help you to solve any of those problems. You have learned quite a few formulas. So naturally at this point you're probably starting to get mixed up between the formula for surface area of a rectangular prism versus the volume for a triangular pyramid. So there's lots of different formulas. So what we did is attached a formula sheet for you to use. So please make sure that you're referring to your formulas when you go to do the homework. To do the assignment, you will need to print out the formula sheet. That's what we prefer for you to do so it's easy for you to refer to it while you're doing the homework. Or if you have another device open with the formula sheet, you may refer to it this way. Okay, otherwise you could take out your textbook and look up the formulas in there as well. When we're solving for geometric problems, if we follow these steps, we should be able to solve them correctly. First, we need to understand what measurement we're solving for. Is it circumference, perimeter, is it area, volume, or surface area? And what is the name of the shape that we're solving for? So if it's a rectangle versus triangle, circle, prism, or pyramid, and if it's a prism or a pyramid, what is the base shape? These are all important things to understand before we find which formula we're going to be using. So after we understand the name of the shape and what we're solving for, we go to the formula sheet to find the formula. Make sure we write it down. Do not skip this step because the formula will help to guide your solution. Next, you're going to substitute the values of the dimensions that are given in the picture into the formula. Look carefully at the picture because you need to make sure you're using the correct numbers. And six, that we're going to solve using order of operations. Parentheses, exponents, don't forget you're going to multiply or divide before you add or subtract. Use a calculator. Then we're going to label the answer with the correct units of measurement. If you're calculating circumference or perimeter, it's just units because these are measures of length. If you're measuring area or surface area, you use units squared since area and surface area are two dimensions. Next, for units cubed, we use this to solve for the volume. Volume is a three-dimensional measure. So let's look at an example. We have an example here where we're to find the volume of the shape. First, we ask what is the measurement that we're solving for? Well, the problem says to find the volume. Next, we need to know the name of the shape. So we see that it's a prism and it has a triangular base. It's a prism because it has two bases and rectangular faces. So we have a triangular prism and we're looking for volume. Next, look at your formula sheet. See if you can find the formulas for volume. And now find the formula for triangular prism for volume. And you should find on your paper that the volume of a triangular prism is found with length times width times height divided by two. So now that we have our formula, we can substitute the values into the formula and solve. 12 times 9 times 18 divided by 2. You multiply the top and then divide by 2. On this problem, notice if you're confused by which is length, width, or height, it won't matter because of the commutative property of multiplication. As long as those three numbers are multiplied together, you will get the correct answer. Just be sure you divide them by two for a triangular prism. Then we label our answer with the correct unit of measure. Volume is three dimensions, so it's 972 centimeters cubed. This next problem says to find the surface area. So first, we see that the measurement we're solving for is surface area. We look at the shape and see it's a pyramid with a square base. So we go to our formula sheet and find surface area, square-based pyramid. When we write down the formula, we see we get area of base plus one half times perimeter of the base times the slant height. And that's also on your formula sheet. Substitute the value so we save the area of the base as four times four. Plus one half times the perimeter of the base. Perimeter is also 16 because it's four plus four plus four plus four. And the slant height is five. So we solve the multiplication first. On the right side of the equation, if we solve for 1 half times 16 times 5, we get 40. 
Now we add 40 to 16, which is the area of the base, and our answer is 56. So we label it with meters squared since we're talking about area. One more quick example. We see we're solving for volume. We have a cone. We find the volume of a cone, the formula, pi r squared h divided by 3. Substitute the values and solve. Then label the measurements. So when we go through that problem quickly, you see that it becomes easier and easier the more that we solve these problems. Just be sure that you know what you're solving for before you approach the problems and always write down the formula first. Thank you, that's all. Oh, I also left a copy of these steps is on Google Classroom as well. So as you're printing out the formula sheet, you might want to also print out a list of these steps to help keep you focused. Thank you.